Hey everyone, welcome to this CUBE conversation featuring VMware. I'm your host, Lisa Martin, and today I'm very excited to be joined by Sazala Reddy, the CTO, Cloud Storage and Data at VMware. We're going to be talking about the evolution of modern ransomware and why traditional DR solutions aren't enough to address today's challenges. Sazala, welcome, great to have you. Hey Lisa, very happy to be here. Excited to talk to you today. Ransomware is, has become a household word in the last few years. We know that attacks are continuing to prolifer proliferate. It's now a matter of when, not if. How do you perceive the current market landscape for ransomware? And what are some of the key factors that you think are really enabling its success and persistence? So ransomware threats are kind of evolving really, really fast. And that's causing every business to kind of consider their, you know, their cyber resiliency. You know, what, how are they going to tackle this problem? And the reason there's an increase in these ransomware attacks is because they become very sophisticated. They know how to get into your organization. They know how to spread themselves. And also, there's a lot of money to be made in this business. And uh, if you look at uh, the statistics, some of the statistics, right? Every 11 seconds today, there is an attack. That's today. By the end of the decade, the projection is that it'll be every two seconds. It's growing exponentially. No, no organization is safe from these cyber uh, uh, issues. And so then the question is that you would think that, hey, like um, if you pay up money for this ransom, you'll actually recover. That's not true. Most companies are not able to recover once, uh, once you pay the ransom also. And then if you look at some of the studies, it says that for every ransomware attack, it costs an organization about four, four to $5 million to, to like actually deal with it, besides the ransom money you already paid. So this is no longer a kind of a old school, simple solution, simple problems. It's actually very complicated. Every 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 industry, every vertical is affected by this by these problems. So it's a top level CIO item. Everybody must think about this. It's a part of doing business now. It, some of the stats you mentioned are, are just crazy. That that right now it's an, one attack every 11 seconds. Like we talked about in the beginning, it's no longer a matter of if we're going to get hit, it's when. But the fact that that's going up to every couple of seconds every two seconds, I think you said, just in less than 10 years is staggering. Talk about some of the key challenges that organizations in every industry are facing in their efforts to mitigate the obvious risk that's there. And what are approach or solution would you recommend that customers employ, deploy to address these challenges really effectively? So there are two parts to this ransomware problem. One is the, you know, how do we prevent? And then how do you recover? Because prevention is, you must do prevention. You must bring up all the new tools. So there's a lot of tooling available in the marketplace. It's a huge market. There's a lot of uh, industry uh, software available to do this. But prevention is not sufficient. It's, you must do it, but it's not sufficient. When you do get attacked, at some point in the future, you need also tooling to actually recover from it. So, so basically now it's a, it's a very blended problem across the organization. It is security, infrastructure, you know, compute infrastructure, networking, all these things need to come together. So it's no longer just a, hey, it's a simple, simple solution I can go for. And that's kind of also changing in the sense that modern, modern ransomware is becoming very different than the old one, very sophisticated uh, way of like dealing with this. And also now what's happening is that customers have distributed data centers, they have in the cloud, they're spending more in the cloud, they're spending more on the hybrid cloud. So they are distributed everywhere. And there is no like, and then it increases your surface vector of your attacks. And then how do you deal with this? Is it a centralized way? And everybody's doing their own little piece silos of how do you recover from these things? So I think the companies are kind of coming to a place where they realize that they need a centralized way of looking at this problem across the distributed data centers and figuring out a solution to prevent and recover. Recovery is no longer an option. You must think about it. Right, prevention and recovery as you talked about. You talked about the attack surface growing. Obviously organizations across every industry is dealing with increasingly larger volumes of data. You talked about managed across distributed data centers, public clouds, edge devices. Attacks are also becoming a lot more sophisticated. They're more pervasive, they're more evasive. Talk about why organizations need to really rethink their reliance on these traditional backup and DR solutions. So there are, if you look at the evolution of ransomware in the last five years, just, just five years ago, it used to be very simple, simplistic in the sense that, you know, you, you, you click on something by mistake, it downloads a file and ex executable onto your Windows or your laptop, and then it uh, does uh, kind of, uh, you know, encrypts your stuff. Very simple, sim kind of simple looking back now. But now they realize that these are all like people can detect all these files. So now they become fileless. So what that means is that they they will somehow get into your system. They'll do uh, they'll use existing tools in your existing VM in your in Windows. Like you have a bunch of tools already existing in your in your in your in most operating systems. They use those toolings. 
to figure out, they do recon first, discover what's, what's out there in your environment, slowly attack everything, and then latch on to some, you know, an another way of uh, kind of how do I encrypt without actually people detecting it. And then they rapidly encrypt everything, you know, in the background. And then that's kind of how they are kind of evolving. So this fileless attacks is non-trivial to identify and detect because now you look at every, every software I have on my computer is suspect. So you need to do a little bit more behavioral analysis on how to deal with this new, new problem. And it requires new ways to analyze, new ways to prevent, new ways to recover. Can you double click on what are some of the enhanced capabilities or frameworks that customers should be adopting to ensure that they're really resilient from ransomware? That resiliency piece is critical. So most people in the past used to think like, no, we have backups. You okay, know, have a bunch of backups and I can recover from that if I get attacked. The problem with, uh, with that is that with these new fileless attacks, you can't just bring up your backups. You can't just go back to your backup and say, hey, let me recover this, you know, the previous, previous uh, snapshot. The problem is this ransomware is not gone they are going to reinfect the environment. So you can't, that's not problem number one. Problem number two is that you need to do experimentation because you need to find a certain set of backups, not just one or two, like because you don't know exactly where it happened. And you must try experimentation some, in, some, in some way to actually figure out what is, where the problems are and how to fix them. And backup software is not built for running these things. Backup software was designed like 30 years ago with the, with, the, with, the, with the idea that it's it's for safety, for, for like an insurance business, in the sense that if you really have a problem, you can go back to it. But now it's no longer like that. You need these backups at a high frequency so that you can actually do something with them. And all of these things, like it's no, it's no longer a peer review, like it's no longer sufficient, all the toolings we have today. So we need a new way of solving this problem, especially when the you know, you know, distributed global data centers, you need a centralized way of recovering. And see, just like the ransomware folks have gone into a SaaS business, they have ransomware as a service. That's what they do, so they can move faster. We also need to evolve into a place where we can offer ransomware recovery as a service, so we can also move faster than them and be able to provide the tooling to recover fast and get back to where you were to run the business. So let's talk about where customers start. You talked about this being a huge top line priority for CIOs. I imagine this is also even higher, maybe across the board from a security perspective. You talked about backups being affected. Now I know that there's dwell time is is changing, lateral migration. Where in your customer conversations do they start if they have distributed data centers, they have edge, they have a siloed environment? Yeah, <clears throat> so it's, uh, like I said, it's no longer a simple combination of just backups only, it's a blended combination. It's a top level, Any every business now is digitized business and every business which digitizes is under threat of these ransomware problems. So it is a top level business issue because if your systems are down, for five days, your business is impacted significantly. And they're depending on that, that they're gonna impact you so they can pay up ransom, right? And so it is no longer just a security problem or an infrastructure problem. It is now a, a total business problem as such. So you need tooling to actually kind of bring all these things together so that you can actually have a predictable way to recover. Right now, there is no, there is not an easy way for people to recover. They're doing all kinds of, uh, you know, just random steps. So the way to do this, solve this problem is by doing automation and by giving confidence to CIOs and confidence to the IT folks so that they can recover. Like when there's a problem, nobody's panicking and there's a procedure and there is a clear way of recovering from this, uh, from this bad situation. That confidence is absolutely critical. It's not just a marketing term. The CIOs really need to have that faith and that belief that we have the right solution in place that can help us prevent, detect, and recover. So give me the skinny on how VMware is actually helping customers to quickly recover from what you described as the modern ransomware attacks. Yeah, so being in VMware, uh, one of the things, advantages is that we have many different uh, kind of uh, uh, toolings available to put it all together. See, for example, in, in the, when you want to recover from ransomware, you need an isolated compute, compute environment, right? Right, right there is a different, it's, it's not a data, it's just compute infrastructure. Then you need networking to make sure that it's isolated so that when you bring up workloads, it doesn't infect everything. And you need backups, and you also need software to actually manage all these things. So we put together a solution called Ransomware Recovery as a Service, it's called VMware Cloud Disaster Recovery. It's in the cloud, it's in Amazon. And the way we, it works is that we work, uh, we have used VMware Cloud on Amazon as infrastructure. So when there is an infection, so we actually have the, all the backups in the cloud, all the snapshots, very high frequency snapshots in the cloud. When there is a problem, we are able to bring up a quarantined environment in the cloud because that is not touching your data centers, it is somewhere else, it's clean. And then we are able to launch uh, a set of you know, snapshot backups and VMs, run them, run them, and then inject 
carbon black, like another kind of like a, it's a, a way to detect uh, ransomware. Is it within those quarantine VMs? Cleanse them and look at the behavior analysis. This is the next gen, you know, uh, antivirus software. And then figure out what the problems are, cleanse them, bring them down, and then kind of then be able to say, okay, we clean them all. Here's a way to bring it back to your uh, to your on-prem data center or whatever data center is. That's what is a centralized way of doing it. And it's all fully built as a solution. It's not a piecemeal thing. That's what confidence means that we have worked through all the different things you must do. And it's all codified as software, as a process. You can click, click, click. And so that you are not discovering things suddenly, how to do ransomware recovery. It's well thought out. And we have a procedures for how to do this. And it's uh, fully automated stuff. So that is, I think, why we think it's a very unique solution. And it's also a centralized solution. It's a ransomware as a service. It's uh, easy to consume, very high uh, ROI and TCO on this. And it's uh, that's why we feel confident that we can also give confidence to our customers that, hey, there is a procedure and we will keep improving it every day as I know, as the tech, uh, also becomes more in increasingly uh, scary. You mentioned the VMware ransomware recovery solution. You also mentioned some of the differentiators. You talked about TCO and from what I understand, there's a huge TCO reduction that this solution is delivering to customers. Can you expand on that a little bit for our audience? Yeah, so there are multiple, multiple uh, things. Firstly, because it's a cloud, you don't have to pay for infrastructure when you don't need it, right? So ransomware is not attacking you every day. So you can, so our solution, uh, VCDR in the cloud, it's basically an on-demand infrastructure in the sense that it keeps costs very, very low in steady state. Only when you have problems, we can bring up bring up the quarantine computer infrastructure and kind of go cleanse that and then shut it down when we're done with it. So it's like a paying for insurance after you have a problem, you know, that's kind of what it is. And that reduces the cost a lot. So for example, you don't have to maintain a separate data infrastructure to just deal with this ransomware in a quarantine place. You can do the on-demand in the cloud. That's very interesting. Secondly, when you're down, we are doing uh, the best, fastest way to recover. See, downtime for your business is a big, is, a, is going to cost your business a lot of money. And so this fixes that. Also, it's, it's the amount of people you need to manage this, this process. How many people do you need to train for this? We have kind of made it simpler so that your confidence comes also from being able to just kind of have a workflow to work through without having to like really learn on the process. So all of these things together and it's a SaaS service and that's kind of what gives the kind of significant TCO savings for the customer and confidence that actually it'll work for them when they need to. Can you expand just a little bit on some of the VMware ransomware recovery features that can really contribute to the CIOs feeling confident that they can recover when this strikes. That's right, so there are a few different uh, features we have. One is that we're able to do rapid snapshotting, just to, because you can't just do backups once a day anymore. You have to do it very frequently because the attack back, attacks could happen anytime and then you need a way to recover back quickly and not lose too much data, that's number one. Number two is that we have a, something called the IRE. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's kind of an isolated recovery environment. Gartner says this is now like a, you need this, no matter how you do this, because you need this and, and you, you need this uh, environment because you can't just bring up workloads because it'll reinfect. That's second one. And thirdly, we have all the, we have a carbon black as part of VMware. So that's the other part, which actually is different in the sense that we're able to inject this next gen AV, bring up the workloads, inject it, and kind of study behavior analysis to see what the problems are. Right, and then we also have NSX as a as a tooling with networking, so that we can actually quarantine uh, the the VMs to a degree which we would like to control you know, in a controllable way. So all of these things are quite differentiated. And third, the most important point is that in backups, you need the backups to be immediately runnable. And that's the other thing we have done in, in that as part of the solution is that you can take any backups we have in the you know let's say six months, you know, take a few snapshots and say run these workloads. It'll run instantaneously. There is no rehydration. There's no like one day copying of data. It's instantaneous. That's what reduces the time to actually recover. And the automation is all of this stuff workflows uh, is actually what makes the whole thing very unique solution uh, in the industry today. And it's a centralized way you can recover like globally for your entire data centers. Centralized way of recovery is absolutely critical, especially time, as you mentioned. You know, that, that can affect organizations deeply, brand reputation, churn, et cetera. You talked about the quick recovery that VMware is able to deliver with this purpose-built end-to-end -end solution. Do you have a favorite customer story that you think really articulates the value there? Yeah, I can't, I don't want to show, I'm not sure I can name names, but I'll tell you a customer who who uh, was in Ukraine and uh, you know they got hit by some because obviously they got to be ransomware obviously and they wanted a solution quickly so they bought this ransomware recovery service there's no hardware to buy you just click buy you know and then 
they were able to you know get back up to speed and be able to protect and be able to recover. I don't want to name the names. Um, no, that, and that's perfectly fine. And well, a lot of companies don't like to talk about ransomware attacks, right? But they're so common, as I mentioned in the beginning, it's a household word. One thing I'm curious about, we talked about the importance of the CIO having that confidence that he or she has the right solution to detect, recover, uh, prevent. But talk about collaboration between the security folks, the infrastructure teams. Is VMware a able to facilitate that? Because that collaboration, I imagine, is quite key for organizations to have the right ransomware recovery response solution in place. That's right. So now there is an understanding now, it is no longer just one team problem. It is basically both security problem, security team has to be involved and the infrastructure team has to be involved. So if you're just doing prevention, it used to be just the infrastructure folks used to just you know have a policy, how do we protect all of our stuff? Sounds great. But recovery is no longer just a security problem. It's also about infrastructure problem. And it is now no longer like a, just a one, one piece of one, one person doing all this work. No, it's, like, it's a blended conversation. It's a blended problem and that's why especially as you have more and more people involved in this, it's good to have a simple tool and which kind of works, works, puts all these things together and gives you the confidence to recover with a click button, the click, click, and it goes to go through the process. You don't have to like really be a PhD in this to actually recover from, from this, from these problems. And, you know, I have one more thing I want to say about ransomware. So we, I just recently heard this somewhere. Ransomware is a forever problem, right? Yeah. It used to be like, you know, we thought it'll go away. No, it's not going away. It's a forever problem. It's a, it's endemic, I guess. It is, unfortunately, but that collaboration that you talked about between the security folks, the infra teams can only be, uh, to me, a competitive advantage for the organizations. As you talked about, this is this is a problem that isn't going anywhere. You also talked about uh, AWS cloud. How does, for customers on that cloud journey, and many, many are, how does VMware help facilitate the cloud adoption journey at the same time as really helping them to establish the right confidence that they can recover when ransomware strikes? So a couple of things is that um, we are unique in the sense that VMware uh, is a multi-cloud company. You can take your workloads to any infrastructure and run there, including Amazon. Uh, Amazon, uh, as you know, has a VMware cloud uh, service. And uh, as uh, we see a lot of customers going there because you can get the cloud adoption, you can get the cloud agility, you can get all the tooling you want in the cloud without having to refactor your application. See, most companies can't just refactor things and move to a public cloud. But this is an opportunity here where your on-prem you know, data centers and the cloud data centers look just the same, the same UI, same experience. So that gives you a first step to actually modernize and, and uh, uh, in your in your in your business. And uh, um, yeah, and then secondly, uh, the customers who also get hit by ransomware, you know, who are actually using you know the ransomware recovery product, they get to also experience the you know, the, the 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 advantages of VMware Cloud. And a lot of them actually do, do tend to stay there and say, hey, this is actually interesting. Let me also like move some of my workloads here because it looks like actually a way to kind of optimize and reduce my RO, reduce the, the cost centers and actually use the cloud as a new way of doing business. Got it, so incredibly important. And thank you so much, Sazala, for coming on, talking about modern ransomware, the challenges that it presents to organizations, but also the end-to-end -end purpose built solution that VMware Ransomware Recovery is delivering to organizations as they are dealing with distributed data centers, edge, you know, tons of data, we appreciate that. Is there anywhere that you want to direct folks to go to learn more about VMware Ransomware Recovery particularly? Absolutely. So on our website, vmware.com, if you just look for VCDR, VCDR stands for VMware Cloud Disaster Recovery, it's an acronym. You'll find, uh, you'll find uh, information there. Also, if you go to YouTube, look for VCDR, you'll find a lot of materials there as well. Awesome. Sazala Reddy, thank you so much for coming on theCUBE as part of this CUBE conversation. We really appreciate all of the information that you shared and the education that you delivered to customers. Hey, thanks, Lisa. That was a very good question. Thank you. All right, my pleasure. We want to thank you for watching and keep it right here for more action on theCUBE, your leader in hybrid tech event coverage.